Hi, my name is Nick. I'm from Hamakaze in Marina del Rey. We specialize in sushi and uh, izakaya cuisine. Today, I'm showing, I'm going to show you the uh, how to make a daikon paper to, for the uh, angel wings. Angel wing is uh, spicy tuna, avocado wrapped in a pickled daikon paper, served like a ravioli, but it's not. It's served with the uh, shiso pesto, a sriracha sauce, garnished with the uh, wasabi topico. Now I'm showing you um, how to make a shredded daikon radish. We have this machine, wonderful, wonderful machine, very expensive, but make those uh, shredded radish in a second. Daikon radish can be used for stew, salad, or the condiments for the sushi and sashimi and stuff. And we make pickles, a lot of them, totally different uh, sweet, salty, you know, spicy, all, all different kind of uh, pickles. And we do have a variety of sizes, the kinds, small one, large one, skinny one. So it's pretty much common in Japanese cooking. A radish has a lot of sugar in it. Any white vegetable has, so uh, it treat it, treat it like uh, more like a starches. When you, if you have a diabetic, which I do, you have to watch out what you're eating. First, you have to cut the daikon in about three inches. And you have to trim any dimples off and peel. Now, this machine, this goes into the center of the daikon radish. This is very important to make it uh, even slices. Perfect. That's it. Machine. While I'm rolling, the blade here is trying to slice. So here it goes. Done. Usually it takes about 20-30 uh, minutes for the expert chef to do this thing. And after peel the daikon radish, you have to cut it in the, the similar sizes. This is the daikon paper I made. I'm going to pickle this one for the uh, angel wing so it doesn't uh, break when you work on with it like this and uh, let it sit in the refrigerator overnight I have already made products so I'm gonna use that one to make a uh, angel wing when it's raw it uh, really tastes more like a regular radish a little bit stronger but when you soak in the water or sweet vinegar, it comes up a little stinkiness. You cannot avoid that. But also that adds the taste, flavor to the paper. And this is a finished product of daikon paper, which is after uh, overnight uh, cured in salt water, then again cured in the sweet vinegar, which is sugar and, and rice vinegar, half and a half, and the cured in about at least a few hours. And I'm going to use this daikon paper to make uh, angel wings, which is the most popular dishes we have here. First, you have to cut this uh, daikon paper in square. We serve three pieces on the plate. It is very easy to use your own hand as a measurement, like four fingers, five fingers, whatever you like it. Okay, here's three pieces of uh, daikon paper. I'm stuffing with spicy tuna. And avocado. And fold this one from the other corner to the other corner. Make it look like a, more like a ravioli. 
Make sure those avocado goes on the top so that they can, you can see through the avocado. Here comes the fun part. This is a shiso pesto, olive oil or uh, regular oil, canola oil with the shiso blended in blender. Shiso is a Japanese basil. It doesn't have any nuts. Just oil and shiso blended in like a certain thickness. It adds a little bit of flavor to it. And the world famous sriracha sauce. Place those ravioli nicely. And garnish with a wasabi flavored Tobiko caviar. There you go. This is Angel Wing. Thanks for visiting. I hope you enjoyed how I showed you to make an angel wing today. I hope to see you soon on Hamakaze. I'm Nick from Hamakaze in Mario Del Rey. You are watching Inside My Kitchen.